Can you tell me about your uh, trajectory in comedy over the past 10 years? Yes. I, um, <laughs> well, I guess I started doing it in um, about 2001. So I'm going to give you 13 years. 13 years. Yeah. Um, and I uh, did a sketch show, mm -hmm. and that was all fine. And went to the Edinburgh Festival, and so I guess I started then. Then, uh, buoyed by a little bit of success, I tried my hand at stand-up. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out, did other things for a bit. And then did what I do now, which is kind of poetry. Mm -hmm. um, started doing that in 2006, and have been kind of doing that in earnest. That's my sort of live yeah. sort of side of things since then so that's kind of um developed into what is now my act i kind of do bits and pieces of comedy elsewhere and work with other people but my live stuff is now weirdly poetry what inspired you to take up poetry lack of um any discernible progress as a stand-up okay. so kind of there was no um grand plan mm -hmm. to do to do poetry on stage it was more a case of killing time on the underground and then not having any other strings to my bow so I was kind of forced into poetry in a way that a lot of comedians aren't. I, I saw your show last night and I thought your poetry was excellent. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> um, have you had any tough gigs in Australia so far? I've, had, I've only had two gigs. And um, there was the one last night, which was not um, too bad. And then the one before, which was uh, also enjoyable. Out of those two gigs, have you noticed any big differences between Australian audiences and UK audiences? Never any difference. No. I kind of, I thought the first time I came here that there would be a difference. I, you just imagine, because there's like quite a lot of miles between our two countries, that there must be some kind of difference. But not really. There's like little tiny things you have to keep an eye on that, like we have something called Pro Plus, and here you have something called No Dose. So you just have to sort of make those little slight alterations. Well, y at its worst, you think this stuff can't possibly work, because it feels so English mm. to you when you're doing it in England and you're an English person. But actually, you just start doing it and it kind of becomes something in, in the room where it doesn't really matter that there's loads of Australians and an English person. It's sort of it's fairly general. Understated, absurdist, is that kind of how you would describe your comedy or a different way? Um, no, I'd say um, bold and conventional. <laughs> no, there's... Uh, there's um, what did you say? Absurd. I said um, understated and absurdist. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so, yeah. <laughs> Definitely... Um, understated yet absurdist yeah there's some bits that are absurd obviously there's some stuff which is kind of um you know in and amongst that there's a little bit of theatricality and uh, mm. we have like a really nice theater and really nice lights mm. so um that that helps to sort of soften the blow to the audience you, you work really well with audience participation is that something that you love to do well it's a two-way thing isn't it mm. um I, yeah i had a guy last night who went to india who um was good value uh this guy okay. yeah um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 he's erratic I, was I did without giving too much away i did love the performance art mm. the theatricality last night mm. what inspired you to include that well i mean you're talking about a bed mm. <coughs> and um in my last show i had a bath on stage mm -hmm. and uh also i had like the I, the verb as well, I had a bath on stage. And this time I, there's a bed. And um, same with the bath one, there was just, I had an idea which was really just kind of a, a an image or a, without wanting to sort of um, analyze, overanalyze my show. But I had this thought that I'd like something to happen. And I, and I don't want to sort of give away what happens, but then I uh, sort of reverse engineered a few things to make sure that I could have that happen in my show because yeah. I thought it would be quite fun for that to happen. Yeah. And so now the show has that thing happening. Yeah. And so it's great because I, I, I wanted that to happen. It's, it's fantastic because when that thing happened, I was like, <gasps> <gasps> yeah. that thing happened. And, oh and yeah, I can't yeah. give it away no, but because you just have to go and see it. But it's yeah, like... Whenever, whenever I see it happen, I just think, good, I'm glad that's happened. Yeah, the thing that happened. And I think if I was like watching a show and that happened, I think I'd think, good on you, that's yeah. happened. Yeah, that's the thing that happened. It was impressive. Yeah, and and I don't, you know, I think it's difficult to sort of, you know, be. It sounds boastful to say that you you th you think your stuff is um, funny or whatever, mm. but I think it's cool to say that I'm glad that thing happens. Yeah, absolutely. Like, not many people have that thing happen in their show. Well, I haven't seen many shows yet. I'm seeing one this evening at seven, so I'll look out for it and see if that stuff happens. Okay, I don't think it will. Well, I know the guy socially, and he hasn't mentioned that it happens. Okay. 